adding integers with different signs. Kara entered her chili recipe into the neighborhood cook-off. Nine judges rated each recipe with a thumbs up, plus one, or thumbs down, minus one. What is the final rating for Kara's recipe? Let's use a horizontal number line to represent this situation. To the right, we can see that she has five thumbs down. We can represent this with a negative five. We also see she has four thumbs up. So we can add a positive four. That will give us her final rating. Let's move four spaces to the right from negative five. We're moving to the right because four is positive. We're left at negative one. The final rating for Kara's recipe was negative one. Let's take a look at our rule for adding integers with different signs. We'll look at that expression we used in the last example, negative five plus four. First, find the difference of the absolute values. Five minus four equals one. Next, use the sign of the add end with the greater absolute value. Well, the original expression was negative five plus four. Negative five has the greater absolute value. Therefore, our sum will be negative. Kim has $45 to spend for a day at the zoo. She pays $17 for admission, $8 for lunch, and $4 for a snack. Use integers to write and solve an addition expression that represents the amount of money Kim has left. Let's represent this situation with a horizontal number line. First, she starts with $45. We can represent this with 45. And she pays $17 for admission. So let's represent that with plus negative 17. First, let's find the difference of the absolute values. 45 minus 17 equals 28. 45 has the larger absolute value and it was positive, so 28 is going to remain positive. She has $28 after admission. Then she spends $8 for lunch. We can represent this with plus negative 8. Now looking at these two numbers, we know that our sum is going to be positive. That's because 28 has the larger absolute value and it is positive. So let's find the difference of the absolute values. 28 minus eight equals 20. Is $20 after lunch. Lastly, she pays $4 for a snack. So we can add negative four. Again, our sum is going to be positive because 20 has a greater absolute value and it is positive. So let's find the difference of the absolute values. 20 minus four is 16. Kim has $16 left. Playing golf, Mike got a plus two on the first hole and minus two on the second hole. What is his combined score for the first two holes? Let's use a horizontal number line to represent this situation. First, he got plus two. Then he got negative two. So we can write plus negative two. That will give us his combined score. First, let's find the difference of the absolute values. 2 minus 2 equals 0. 0 is neither positive nor negative. Mike's combined score for the first two holes is 0. Stella walks down a flight of stairs to the basement. Then she walks back up the stairs and up another flight of stairs to the second floor of her house. Each flight of stairs represents a change of 12 feet in height. 
what integer represents Stella's location relative to ground level. Let's use a horizontal number line to represent this situation. It's important that we know that each flight of stairs is represented by a change of 12 feet. First, she walks down. So we can represent that with negative 12. Then she walks up. We can add 12. Then she walks up another flight of stairs. So we can add another positive 12. That will give us her location relative to ground level. Let's start with the negative 12 plus 12. Let's find the difference of the absolute values. 12 minus 12 is zero. Then we're left with zero plus 12, which equals 12. Stella's location relative to ground level is 12. Sean started with 15 points during a trivia game. Then he lost 15 points on one turn and an additional 20 points on his final turn. What is Sean's final score? Let's use a horizontal number line to represent this situation. He started with 15 points. We can represent that with a positive 15. He then lost 15 points. So we can add negative 15. And he lost an additional 20 points. So let's add negative 20. That will give us his final score. Let's start with 15 plus negative 15. We'll find the difference of the absolute values. 15 minus 15 is zero. Then we'll add zero to negative 20. That gives us negative 20. Sean's final score is negative 20. Let's review our rule for adding integers with different signs. When adding integers with different signs, first, find the difference of the absolute values. Then, use the sign of the addend with the greater absolute value.